We finally have a new Keyblade, and we are heading off to the Cinderella world today. Off to Castle of Dreams, combat level 2. Should be a bit easier than the Dwarf Woodlands. Let's head on out and visit the world. Uh oh, looks like we arrived too late. <laughs> Is something wrong? No, she just was crying for no reason. It's just that my friends made me the most beautiful dress, but my stepmother and stepsisters ruined it, and I was so looking forward to the ball. <laughs> Darkness always finds a way into a wounded heart. You have to be strong. Strength of heart will carry you through the hardest of trials. He sounds so concerned for her. Huh. Unversed. Let's try out our new pickaxe. Defeat all the unversed while this really sad music plays in the background. You know. Let's summon Aqua again as a D-Link. We actually haven't seen her super uh, new finisher yet, so this should be interesting. Boom! Magic Volley, here we go. It's pretty cool if I do say so myself. Okay, so the fat guy's official names are Bruisers. And yeah, Mind Square. Absolutely insane. Look, it, it pretty much instantly gave me my finish command again. Thanks, Aqua! <laughs> Man, yeah, get wrecked. Anyways, as I was saying... Strength of heart is important, but that's not all you need. Huh? There's nothing left to believe in. Nothing. Nothing, my dear. Oh, now, you don't really mean that. Oh, but I do. It's just no use. Nonsense. If you'd lost all your faith, I couldn't be here. And here I am. Oh, come now. Dry those tears. You can't go to the ball looking like that. The ball? Oh, but I'm not. Of course you are. But we'll have to hurry. Now, what were those magic words? Please and oh, thank yes. you. I tried that in real life. It doesn't work. Here comes the pumpkin. Turns into the onion carriage with a with a man too. <sighs> Doesn't look as magical in this version. Oh, it's a beautiful dress. <sighs> and your hair's been done up too. Huh? Why, it's a dream come true. Yes, but like all dreams, I'm afraid this can't last forever. You'll have only till midnight, and then on the stroke of twelve, the spell will be broken, and everything will be as it was before. It's a New Year's Eve party, though. Yes, I understand. People never... People always stop partying at around nine, so it's fine. <laughs> Who are you waving to? There's only two people here. <laughs> and welcome to the third world. Another original world. The Castle of Dreams. Again, a kind of a weird name for the Cinderella world, but I don't know, here we are. Her heart was full of light. Why didn't I see it? I don't know, Tara. Why what did, did you do? do? I can hardly tell she's the same person. Who are you? <laughs> Good Tara. question. Tara, in your 
heart, do you believe that dreams can come true? No, because I failed my exam. But I also believe you have to make an effort to make them come true. That's reasonable. Of course. But sometimes just believing in dreams is easier said than done. Cinderella believes her dreams can come true. I wanted her to see that she is right. So that's what made her shine. Faith in her heart that anything is possible. Where did she go? To the royal ball at the palace. Go, and when you see her dancing, you'll know that she believes, and that will help you to believe too. Uh-huh. <laughs> Fairy Godmother looks a little uncanny in this game. Also, I just gotta say, like, I know that's supposed to be like a touching and heartwarming scene of Terra cheering up Cinderella, but man, it is so gnarmy. He, he, he sounds completely uncary in this issue. He's just like, don't give up, Cinderella. Dreams can come true. <laughs> like, it, it's, uh, it, it's, uh, kind of hard to take seriously. All right, uh, are there any commands that we can equip? Uh, I guess our second sliding dash. Is that really it? Okay, I gotta go to the store. And our Sonic Shadow is getting close to leveling up as well. Sweet. All right. Well, let's head back the way we came. Maybe there will be a shop around here, hey? Oh, hey! It's Cinderella's house. Oh, hey! This is not supposed to be at Cinderella's house. Oh, yeah. Take that. Oh, Terror Smash! Oh yeah, the enemies here are so much easier than the ones in the Dwarf Woodlands. Take that. Boom! Shaka Laka. Also, we got uh, at the end of last episode, we got the Firestorm command style. Let's see if we can activate that one. We get a Traffic Cone sticker. Ooh, and Thunderstorm. That's a new shot lock. It's a lightning-based one, but it's kind of weird. Oh, wait, hang on. Let's break into uh, Lady Tremaine's house. This will be hilarious. Oh, we can't! Open up! Tara wants to date your daughters! <laughs> Guess they're at the ball, too. Also, yeah, this world has such an... I hope you really, really like hearing the instrumental version of Bippity Boppity Boo every 20 seconds, because this, mu this is the only music you hear in the world. And, um... It repeats every 20 seconds. It's kind of obnoxious. Fire. Okay. Let's see if that's enough to enter the Firestorm command style. It is! And as you can see, it's still doing good damage against the fire enemies. Not as much as the Diamond Dust command style would, but still. Alright, now we've got the finisher. Shazam! Oh, yeah, Fish and Fireaga! I need to be using that more. Uh, the shoe unburst are annoying because they can turn invincible whenever they want. Get torched. Also, if we go to our finish commands, you can see that red one now has two points. So to, in order to unlock this, we need to enter the Firestorm command style a bunch of times. So if I can unlock that, this world... Actually, we're almost certainly going to unlock that one in this world. This will be, be great. Because I, as much as I love Terra Smash, I could go for some uh, some different ones as well. Oh boy, we get a map at the beginning of the world this time. Thank you. Oh hey, it's more of the uh, ice cream guys. And they're dropping different ingredients this time. Oh boy, a birthday cake! It's not even my birthday, but I love it. Is there a shop around here somewhere? 
No. Oh well. Let's just keep entering the Firestorm Command style. Alright, you stupid bruiser, get out of here. Oh no! Terra hates the water when he's in Firestorm Command style. Even though it doesn't actually do anything. Now, there's a treasure chest back here. We gotta pick that up. Hmm. Slow. There we go. It's a new command. One that we actually have to level up. So, yes, please. It's actually a good thing we found that, because uh, we're actually going to need slow in order to meld a command that I've been looking forward to. I think there are other treasure chests in this courtyard. Also, wow, there is nobody at the ball tonight. Not even any guards standing watch. Oh, that didn't last long. Too. Oh no! Dang! Why can't I do that in normal combat? I met you before. <laughs> I'll take care of them. You wait right here. <gasps> You're that guy who like nonchalantly told me not to give up. <laughs> you you saved my life. Please, may I go with you? I so want to get to the ball. I'll be your date, sure. All right. But stay behind me, or you'll get hurt. Oh, that's right. This no, next part is annoying. Didn't you tell me it was important to stay strong? Oh. Um, I, I guess I did. I was just saying things. <laughs> so, you ready? Yes. So now we have to escort Cinderella to the ball. Protect Cinderella until she reaches the ballroom. Press square and then X if she needs help. So we basically got to take out the unversed and uh, make sure she don't take too much damage. Oh, also, we can't D-Link in this fight. Basically, if you're ever in a fight where there's somebody else with you, even if they're not actually a party member, then uh, you can't D-Link, which is kind of annoying. Okay, Cinderella, you're going a little far ahead there, sweetie. Actually, because we did Dwarf Woodlands first, this is actually very easy. If you don't do Dwarf Woodlands first, then uh, this can be rather annoying, because Cinderella don't have a whole lot of HP. Cinderella hasn't caught up yet. Well, hurry up, Cinderella. That's as fast as you can run? You are not used to wearing high heels, apparently. She has? Right here. There we go. Proceed. It's not over yet, though. We still have to protect Cinderella in this room now. Uh-oh. So much for homie Fish and Fyraga. Yeah, look at that. That guy just dealt a huge amount of damage to her. Oh, okay. Oh, hey. We actually got the counterattack. Oh boy, we got a new finish command. We unlocked Gold Rush. Which we will be renaming. Hurry up, Cinderella. I know you're in heals, but come on, you can run faster than that. Oh, that's right, and because we're now using the Gold Rush finish command, entry in Firestorm will not actually help us unlock the upper one. But it's still powerful, so... Come on, Cinderella, hurry up! I want to go to the ball, too! Terra actually just secretly wants a date to the ball. Because he didn't get a senior prom. Keyboy Masters don't go to prom. Actually, Cinderella's surprisingly tanky. She's gotten hit by a bunch of stuff, and she's still painted in there. 
Cinderella has caught up. There we go. Boosh. <laughs> and here we go. We obtain Counter Hammer. Yes, finally. Countering after you block. Use counters to strike back right after a successful block. After blocking the attack, you can press X to strike. Install the counter command underneath a blocking command. At last. Oh boy. This is quite a ball. There are literally four people here. Now six people here. For the whole ball. For the whole kingdom. Wow, Prince Charming, you really gotta work on your publicity. Oh, thank you, um... Tara. Thank you, Tara. <laughs> Aw, how suave. Oh, you're not gonna, like, escort her to the ball. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, Lady Terrain's here as well. There's seven people. Well, Patera's not really part of the ball. The prince is like, you're the best-looking girl here out of the three that are my age. I want to dance with you. <laughs> no wonder Cinderella had it easy. There was there only three people here. <laughs> I hope you're familiar with the story of Cinderella, otherwise you're going to be very confused right now. Man, maybe just believing is enough. I think it's just because Cinderella got game, bro. And also because this is a laughable excuse for a ball. It's supposed to be like the grandest party Who ever. Is she, mother? Do we know her? Well, the prince certainly seems to. I've never seen her before. Nor I. But she certainly is. Wait. There is something familiar about her. I love that they got one girl to voice Maleficent, Queen Grimhilda, and Lady Tremaine. <laughs> They're basically the same character. Oh, she looks like she's fun at parties. Unversed. Tell me, how do I get up there? Who the heck are you? <laughs> well, uh, there is a passage beneath the foyer staircase. Thanks. Who the heck are you? <laughs> are there only like s four people in the whole kingdom? Five? Oh, we. <laughs> I don't want to interrupt the ball. Tara, but, but it's time for your senior prom. We can just spy on them dancing. <laughs> they look like they're stepping on each other's feet, but uh... <laughs> Wow. All right, then. All right, so first things first, we are installing Counter Hammer, which is going to be extremely useful. Oh, our block is max level. That's pretty nice. Uh, I think Sonic Shadow is also max level now. Yep, so now we can equip Flame Salvo, which launches fireballs at targets. This is actually the Shotlock Ventus was using in the tutorial. Ragnarok launch a single salvo of light projectiles. And Thunderstorm launch a single salvo of electric blasts. Even one blast by itself packs a significant... A significant punch. Let's use Ragnarok because we actually have that leveled up a little bit. And then as for battle commands, well, looks like none of these are max level yet. So, as for the finish commands, well, we're definitely renaming Gold Rush first off. So, Gold Rush is a finish command that basically, when you activate it, you'll charge up and then one of the buttons will appear. If you push it, you'll deliver a swipe and hit the enemies. The swipe itself is not very powerful, but it does cause a bunch of money to appear. So it's basically a way of racking up extra cash. And there are upgraded versions of Gold Rush too. So we're going to call this... <laughs> we have now renamed it Need Cash Now! <laughs> Which is pretty great. But we're going to go back to Terra Smash because, as you can see, if we equip this one, the Need Cash Now... There are two other ones in level 3 that we can get. This lower one by collecting a bunch more money. And then this one, I believe, by getting CP command points. I don't really know. But we can't get either of these two. So we're actually going to go back to Terra Smash. Because we're pretty close to getting these two as well. And we do want to unlock those. So that's just what we're going to do. Plus, we uh, haven't nearly explored all of this room. There's a bunch of treasure we found here. Suing Crystal... Yes, please. I need more synthesis materials. I don't have nearly enough. And then, boom. A high potion. Yay, that's useless. At least I can sell it for cash. Because we need cash now. Strike raid. Hey, that's a basic attack command. Well, we can meld it into something better later. There is the shop. 
Oh boy, a potion! My favorite. I think the shop is for these doors. So there's a sticker way up there that we can't reach. We'll have to come back later. Cool. I'm glad we're <laughs> glad we're activating Firestorm so much. We'll be getting that red uh, finish command in no time. Where did the bruiser go? Did I kill him, like, instantly? Yeah, take that. Ooh. Okay, come on. Please give me the shop. There we go. I've been waiting for you. Alright, we got $400. What can we buy? Alright. We have two fires. One fire. Uh, that's enough fires, I think, for today. We can now buy Thunder! That's pretty nice. And Blizzard. We don't have any Blizzards. Okay. Thunder is actually quite important to get. So I would, like, three of those. We'll spend, like, all of our money on Thunders. And we can get Magnet. Oh, wait. We want Magnet as well. Okay. Maybe we can sell some stuff that we don't need. Like, say... Some Efers. I'll keep one Efer, but I'll sell the rest. Because those are kind of bad. Uh, potions we don't really need. I'll sell five of them for 75 bucks. Uh, we can sell a single high potion. Anything else we could sell? I don't really like selling my commands because I prefer melding them. Oh, we can... Okay, cool. We can buy two magnets. Yes. Oh, that's very good. That's very good. Magnet and Thunder make an insane combo. Oh, shoot. I probably should have opened that first. Well, we got four Thunders now. That's actually okay. I'm fine with that. All right, let's level up our commands a bit more. I think if we go through that next room, then we just go to the boss. And I don't really want to fight the boss yet. I want to level up some of my commands. And I want to get more finish commands. Here we go. We entered the Firestorm command style enough times, and now we unlocked a new finish command, Heat Slash 1. Heat Slash 1, Fizzle Foes with a fiery, fiery attack. However, there is no Heat Slash 2, at least not for Terra. So this is the end of the road, but we can at least rename this. I was gonna call this Taco Bell Fire Sauce, but I apparently reached the character limit, so we can't do that. Rats. There we go. We couldn't name it Taco Bell Fire Sauce, but we could name it Frank's Red Hot. As in Frank's Red Sauce. There we go, perfect. I'll, I'll at least show off Frank's Red once. And that's Counter Hammer, which is pretty good. Alright, Frank's Red. Nice job, Terra. Proud of you. Alright, back to finish commands. Let's go back to Terra Smash. For the final one, we just need to get uh, level up our commands a bunch. Should be pretty simple. Looks like I'm missing three chests in this world, and most of them, I think, are back at... I pretty, think pretty much all of them are going to be back at the beginning. So, maybe we missed some. I know we missed some in the courtyard, because the cutscene warped us out of there before we could explore all of it. Look at how much how much damage counter hammer does. It's so good. Also, that's poison edge. Wow, that dealt did nothing. Slow obviously can slow enemies down. Oh yeah, we haven't shown off Ragnarok yet either. Ragnarok is literally just the uh, limit that you got way back in Kingdom Hearts One. Where you shoot all the uh, light blasts out of the Keyblade. I'm gonna use Freeze Raid while in the Fire Command style. What could go wrong? Here we go. Now we've leveled some stuff up. Wow. Um. I don't remember buying this many fires. I'm pretty sure some enemies dropped some fires for us. Which, hey, that's great. I'll happily take that. Let's equip our two magnets. Magnet is nuts how good it is in this game. 
I mean, it was pretty good in Kingdom Hearts 2, but it's probably even better in this game. It just pulls enemies into it, and you can dish out insane damage to them when they are. It's like a better version of Zero Gravity. A Wellspring Crystal. That's good. Ooh. Terra Stealthy. Here we go. A Pulsing Crystal. Did I miss another chest in this area somewhere? Probably. Let's look around. So where are the unversed? I thought they were unversed who were supposed to spawn in the courtyard. Did I miss one back in the forest? Or maybe there's still one in the uh, palace that we haven't reached yet. But I'm pretty sure once you go through the room, or once you go through the door in the room with the shop, then you're just at the, the boss. Okay, no, it's not out here. Going back to reports. Okay. The next one should be somewhere in the uh, palace. Are there really no one versed here? They're just all at the party now? This ball is so dumb. Like, there are only, like, two people here, and everybody else is an unversed. Look at that. Magnet plus Fission Fyraga means most things just die. You know, it probably would be smarter if we level grinded up the commands in the Dwarf Woodlands, because the enemies in that world will give us more CP per, for defeating them. They still dancing? They're still dancing. All right. Good job, Cindy. Wee. Yeah, we got that chest too. Man. Where's the forgotten final chest? There we go. That's what I wanted to see. The magnets leveled up. Now we can meld the two magnets together. Uh, Wellspring Crystal. Used when wel melding commands, it attaches various abilities. Some, for example, which allow you to perform longer combos. Yeah, we'll go Wellspring Crystal. And here we get Magnera with Combo Plus. So basically it means we have longer ground combos. Not amazing, but it's better than nothing. Alright, I think we can level grind later, but maybe we should finish up the world first. Let's go through here. Okay, yep, it's boss time. <laughs> Big boy boss. This guy can be rather tricky on critical mode. I HATE MUSIC! Down here! Guards? Guards? Oh, where could they possibly be? You didn't employ guards at the palace. <laughs> I'm the guards. We don't need to care about the Tremains, they're fine. So this is the boss of the Cinderella world, the Symphony Master. To defeat the Unversed, you can destroy its instruments. And that's about it. You're done. That. If you can time You're done. pressing the X button when the circles align, you can deal extra damage. Also, let's D-Link Ventus, because that's just like the best thing to do. Never mind, that was real easy. We get more HP and our deck capacity increases again. It turns out if you go to Dwarf Woodlands first, this world is actually really easy. That guy's a lot harder if you don't do the Dwarf Woodlands Thank first. You. you saved us all. <laughs> and if you don't use Ventus Demon. The guests were just starting to enjoy themselves. Well, don't give up just yet. <laughs> oh. I love you. <laughs> Tell me something. Have you always had a problem around here with those monsters? No, I believe uh, they began to appear shortly after a boy in a mask arrived in our kingdom. Those that saw him said the monsters obeyed his every command. A boy in a mask? Do you know where he is now? Well, no, 
I don't believe anyone has seen him since then. I see. Cinderella, you lost track of the time. My goodness, it's midnight. Yes, so it is. But why? Good Party's God. always end at 9 p.m., bro. Come back. Please come back. He sounds very upset. Please come back. I'm sorry. The Duke's like, no, 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 you can't leave. Please. That's why she couldn't run fast earlier. <laughs> Senorita. <laughs> She's definitely Hispanic. Hey, look who just popped in. Aqua. Tara. Tara, Ven ran away from home. What? I think he left to go find you. Well, here I am. No idea why? No. He likes me. Huh. Actually, I'm like a big brother father figure to him. Just before I left, he tried to tell me something. But I didn't listen. I should have listened to what he had to say. Oh. So, did you manage to locate Master Zaynort? <laughs> I know you've been obsessing with him lately. I went and I almost killed a girl so I could figure out where she was. You did what, Tara? Yeah, apparently he's nowhere and everywhere. Okay. No, but it seems he's looking for pure hearts filled with light. Pure hearts filled with light? All I can tell you is that his search hasn't taken him here. All right. I'll stay and see if I can find more clues. Okay. The prince is in the ballroom ahead. He might have some answers. Thanks. Aqua. You still have the same dream? Well, yes. There's this girl here. Her name is Cinderella. She made me realize how powerful it is just to believe. No matter how impossible things seem, a powerful enough dream will always be enough to light the darkness. Someone wrote those words and actually thought that they were good. <laughs> This is one of the cheesiest <laughs> scenes ever. Cinderella taught me the power to believe in dreams. <laughs> the fact that it's being delivered by if you see her, Tara, who's thanks. very much well, just kind of like, oh, mumbling his lines. It's a, uh, yeah. The boy, oh boy in the mask who is leading the unversed. Who is he? Does he have anything to do with Master Xehanort's disappearance? Yes! Duh! Master Ericus said he first received word of these events from Master Yen Sid. Maybe it's time I went and spoke with him myself. Not a bad idea. Forged a D-Link with Cinderella at last, even though we didn't talk with her at the end there. But there we go. And we get a new Keyblade, the Stroke of Midnight. A Keyblade that makes it easier to land critical hits. Yeah, critical hits are in this game, but they're kind of a non-issue almost. Just occasionally you'll deal extra damage. It's not great, though. Oh, look, it's creepy old man that everyone trusts for some reason. And a different guy. Guys, Xehanort is definitely not the, the bad guy. He's just misunderstood. He's just a friendly old man who wants to help out. <laughs> Give a lending hand. And we unlock the command board for Castle of Dreams. Yay, we get a new command board board. I love command board boards. And yes, we will be playing on that command board board. <laughs> Hey, we got some commands we need to level up, so yes, please. Uh, let's go to the Royal Board. It's a GP goal of 6,000, and we just have one opponent this time. Cinderella. The perfect fit if you're looking to play against Cinderella. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a pretty good description. Yes, we want to play on the board. Just us and Cinderella. Shuffle the play in order. No, I want to go first. All right. All right. Okay, I want to see the bonus uh, panels. This one is Meteor Shower. That's a good one. If we can get that, I want it. That's another shot lock command that you can only get by...
by playing this specific command board and buying it from a bonus panel. We also have Focus Block, Stun Edge. Focus Block is another one that you can only get from this command board, so I'd like to pick both of those up if possible. Uh, Thunder and Blackout. Blackout could be nice. All right, all right, all of these look pretty nice. And oh boy, look at all, okay. Yeah, look at all this stuff. Um, I'm gonna use Fyra to roll two dice. Like How about this? Wow, a 12. If I go this way, I land there. If I go this way, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that's skip. I'm skipping all those either way. If I, and then if I head this way, I land there. I'm gonna go this way, I think. All right! All right! Anyway, but yes, I would like to put one down. Uh, I'm going to start leveling up. Level up the fire. There we go. I do want to get another fire to level two. All right, Cinderella, which way are you going? You're going that way. Makes sense. <laughs> Cinderella was kind of obnoxious to go up against, though. Another six! I get a command card. I would love to level up my fire by a tiny little bit. Go. May as well put some extra CP into it. Don't take my focus block, Cinderella. How nice. How nice. I know it's not my focus block, but I would like to get focus block. Oh. It's actually a pretty decent command. Okay, a three would be great. Ask and you shall receive. We're getting meteor shower, y'all! Meteor shower. And she gets a six. Good job, Cinderella. Nice. It is very nice, isn't it? Five. There we go. There we go. I would love to put a command down. Uh, let's see. Let's put down our Magnera. All right. Gotta level that up. Oh. oh no! She's leveling up her zero gravity command, hoping that I'll land on it. No! I landed on it! Hmm. I have to pay Cinderella money? I hate that. <laughs> How nice! <laughs> also, if it's just a 1v1 command board... Oh, cool. She paid me some of it back. Don't you dare take over my fire. So if it's just a 1v1, the stun ability becomes insanely good. Okay. Because you can literally just... Force you can as long as you have attack cards, you can just keep making them get stunned over and over again. It's there pretty good. Ooh, that's unique. GP boat boost. All panels have gone up six percent in value. You're stunned and cannot move, Cinderella. All right. Um. Ooh. Free, we're gonna use Thunder and Fire to roll like three dice. Okay. Alright! Alright! Cool. So if we head this way, we land on the cube, but Cinderella will probably push it away unless she gets a low roll. If we go up, then we go, is it one, two, three, four? Five. That is. Oh, we can get focus block. There we go. Bro, this is the best. We get both of the one of a kind commands on this board. Oh, this is this is like a perfect run of the Castle of Dreams board. This is amazing. Oh, I love this so much. Okay. Well, I don't want the overhead view actually. 
Joker's Fortune, you can use the spinner to trigger various hands. Stop on panel capture to instantly acquire a panel. Hmm. Sure, might as well. Okay. If you can get free Jokers, you can uh, get do a better version of this. But let's see what happens. Oh, <gasps> panel capture. Can we get any panel we want? Nope. But it is a bonus panel, so we get the Thunder panel for free. Uh, okay, how do I change the camera view again? There we go. Cool, cool. Uh, yeah, let's level up our Ragnarok. There we go. We have so many shot lock commands at this point, we gotta start leveling them up. How nice. I agree, this is very nice, Cinderella. Sure, I'll put a panel down. Let's start leveling up. Oh, let's maybe we can get our fission oh, fire Aga to max level. That would be nice. As Cinderella would say. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> We're getting there some we low go. rolls, but that's okay. Even if we lose, I'm still happy with this. Can I level up my panels? Oh, sweet. I'd like to level up my Ragnarok, please. All right. That doesn't just... That doesn't guarantee it gets an entire level. How nice. But it'll just give some CP to it. Oh, there we go. She got two in a row of the same color. Which means that she gets a tiny bonus to them. Sure, um... Focus block. Let's level up Meteor Shower a little bit. Uh, yeah, we can do that. There we go. Again, if we can level up our shot lock commands, that would be pretty nice. Oh. oh, she landed on the bank. I think that means that she can move in any direction she wants. Which is actually kind of bad. I don't want her moving back to the right. And getting my prize cube. So I'm actually going to roll two dice. How you like this? Yes, Cinderella. How do you like this? Hopefully this can give me a bit of a head start. Yep, I want to go to the right. There we go. Even if she rolls a six. Okay, no, she's going that way. Everything's gone up by 6% of value. If I move this cube one more time, I will get a GP bonus, which will be nice. Oh, oh she lands on her own panel. How lucky, Cinderella. How nice. I think the other reason that Cinderella got the proximity bonus is because both of those were the same type of card. They were b both magic cards. Right. Yeah, a thousand bucks. Oh my gosh, I'm like there just a few go. GP away from... Actually, no, never mind. Now I've... I've... <laughs> there we go. Beautiful. Uh, let's give it a... No, wait. Cinderella's already passed there. Let's give a level up to Meteor Shower. All right. Even though she can very easily ignore it. Oh, look. You can get Stun Edge. Probably the worst of all of these bonus panels. Um, I have Slide and Thunderstorm. Guess we'll use Thunderstorm. We Another shot lock that we can level up. How nice. Very nice. I hope she rolls a one and for some stupid reason lands on my big panel. Oh, also the sparkly ones on this board? No! No! Cinderella, you jerk butt. How could you? The, uh, the glitter panels instead of the keyblade glider that let you soar to any space you want. It's gonna be bippity boppity boo Which, I can't remember exactly what it does, but I think it gives you GP based on how many panels that you have. Oh, guys, we're about to find out what it does. bippity boppity boo collect GP based on your roll. That's right. Boom. 
A three. Respectable. There we go. We get 672 GP. That's what your roll times 224, apparently. Cinderella, I don't think you're gonna win this one. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. How nice. Hey! That's mine! She took my thunderstorm. I don't think you lose the thunderstorm at the end. I better not, because that's a one of a kind uh shot lock. Alright. I better not lose that. I'll be kind of annoyed if I do. <laughs> Easy. Alright, fire is max level, fish and fire rock is max level, thunder is! Uh, Magnara got to level up. Alright, cool. Now let's see if we still have Thunderstorm. Okay, yeah, we do. So if, if your opponents buy your panels from you, you don't lose them. You just don't get to level them up, basically. So like, if she hadn't taken it, then I would have gotten some level ups for some experience for my Thunderstorm as well. We also get Meteor Shower. Launch small star-like projectiles at targets. Has an especially high lock-on count, so you can fire a bunch of stuff at people with that one. It's, it's interesting. And now that we've leveled some stuff up... So we can... I'm gonna meld the two fires again. Let's get... Let's do a Soothing Crystal. Which gives us another HP boost. Grand, grand, grand. Alright. I think that's the only one we can meld. And now what we're going to do, go to our action commands and replace block with focus block. Press square to block head-on attacks and restore some of the fo focus gauge if successful. So this will basically allow us to use more shot locks if we use focus block. Which is pretty nice and I am a big fan of that. And heading on over here, Fish and Fire Raga's max level. So we are going to start using our Magnera. And we're also going to equip a second Thunder. Because we want to level up the thunder and meld it with the other thunder. But that is going to be something that we'll have to do next time. Because this has been a decently long episode. <laughs> oh wait, hang on. Only 90% treasures. Before we do that, we're going back to the antechamber here. We're going back to Auntie's chamber. I think the final chest is maybe up here. There we go. So you can't get the final chest unless you come back. Fleeting crystal! That's a good one. Fleeting crystals are really, really useful. Oh, also I'll show you the uh, Stroke of Midnight Keyblade has terrible stats. Two and two. Not worth equipping. Yeah, the Fleeting Crystal. Used when melding commands. It attaches abilities which reduce reload time for your commands. So most of the time when you attach this, you'll either get Attack Haste, which means your attack commands will recharge faster, or Magic Haste, which re your magic commands recharge faster. And you can get up to five of each of those. If you got five of each of those, your commands are going to be refilling really quickly, which means you can spam your commands way more. Which is exactly how I like to do it, 100%. Anyhow, now we are officially going to finish this episode of Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. We have all of the treasures in the first three worlds, and we also have a new world unlocked. The Mysterious Tower, combat level 3, similar to the Dwarf Woodlands, and that looks familiar, don't it? We've seen that in Kingdom Hearts 2. It's the tower that Yen Sid lives at, and that's where we'll be heading next time, along with maybe the Mirage Arena. And just showing that off will be interesting. So thanks for watching, everybody. Tune in next time. Should be interesting. Or we're going to advance the plot and maybe get to show off this game's version of the arena. Look forward to that next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.